and the green theme continues throughout the factory. In most car plants, the paint shop consumes between 60 and 70 percent of the energy used and creates substantial toxic waste. CEO Frank Fisher wanted his plant to be different. Here we have a paint shop which is at least 20 percent less in terms of energy consumption and also less in terms of water consumption. But there's still the issue of the final paint coats. Most factories paint cars in color batches. This leads to significant wastage when the system is purged of the old color and a new batch is begun. At the Volkswagen factory, an automated reader identifies the car and the desired color. Then a robot changes the paint heads on the fly. This shifts the color automatically without the need for purging. Even with robots, a substantial amount of paint is spilled or oversprayed. In most factories, this would be washed away, creating toxic waste good only for the landfill. But here, the paint is carried to a dry filtration system below. What we have inside is just an air hopper. The air pipes that you just heard, every three minutes, this will make a spurt and the paint overspray from the booth itself, instead of getting captured by the water, will get covered with this limestone material. And if you can look up into the top of the scrubber, you can see the filter material that actually it gets collected on. The limestone covered paint isn't toxic waste. It's actually a useful material, and Volkswagen's president of manufacturing, Don Jackson, is proud of the process. We use a limestone filter, we can charge this filter with the actual overspray. We can actually discharge it and make concrete out of it later on. So it's completely environmental friendly. And the paint jobs are really good too. 